So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that just given the sheer length of the question itself. Let's jump in and make sure we're translating each sentence um, as we read it, pulling out any of the quantitative information that we read. So the first sentence here says a function P estimates that there were 2,000 animals in a population in 1998. So I'm going to write down 1998 arrow 2,000 animals. Each year from 1998 to 2010, the function estimates that the number of animals in this population increased by 3%. All right, so that means that we're going to have 1999, and that's going to be 2,000 times 1.03. Why 1.03? Well, because we want to have a 3% increase, right? So this one here represents 100% of that 2000 and then the 0 0.03 represents the additional 3%, right? So we're not going down in value, we're going up in population. So 2000 times 1.03 represents our 3% increase. I'm not gonna do it for every single year, so I'm gonna just do these dots here to represent we do that all the way up to 2010, um, and we're gonna continue to add 3% every single year. Which equation defines this function where P of X is the estimated number of animals in the population X years after 1998. Okay, well, I'm gonna use my calculator here and actually figure out what is this value for 1999, right? What is 2,000 times 1.03? Just throw that into my calculator really quickly. 2,000 times 1.03. The number I get here, and I'll put it this way, is 2,060. And that tells me that when x equals 1, p of x should equal 2,060. I know that when x equals 0, p of x should equal 2,000, right? So when you're 0 years beyond 1998, the population is 2,000. When you're 1 year beyond 1998, the population is 2,060. Now, why is that important to me? It's important because it allows me to use a strategy called um, plug in information, or how do I put it? I'll, I'll say plug in information from question, PIQ, right? So I'm using this information from the question to plug in. So let's try it. For instance, with choice A, if X is equal to one, that means I can replace that X right there with a one. Three to the first power is just three, but three times 2,000 is 6,000. Well, we don't want 6,000. We want P of X to equal 2,060. So for that reason, A is gone. I can do the same thing for choice B. If I replace this X with a 1, 1 1.97 to the first power is 1.97. 1 1.97 times 2,000 is not going to be the same as one as 2,000 times 1 1.03, right? So that's gone as well. Choice C looks like what I actually want. If I put a 1 here, then 2,000 or one, sorry, 1 1.03 to the first power is 1.03. And then 2,000 times 1 1.03, I already did that math, right? And I did that math and it resulted in this equaling 2,060, which is exactly what I want. So I'm thinking that choice C is correct. And then just to make sure, I look at choice D and it has a 0.97 to the first power times that 2,000, which again, I know will not equal 2060. So choice C is the best answer. Obviously, you could have gotten there much faster than I did simply by understanding or by translating this idea that each year you are increasing by 3%. But really, I think the key to this answer, which if you need to take note of, is the understanding that increased by 3% is the same as multiply by 1.03. Because if you knew that, there's only one option that makes any sense here, and that is choice C.